We're ending the series of reviews on the top picks with Jimmy Uso, the J himself. This is Jay's brother, Jimmy, which you might know him as one of the members of the Bloodline. This is also him when he had his red hair, and that was a look. I'm not going to say it was a bad look, but this was a look. He comes with a championship title, but hold on. Let me take him out of the box. This is the back of the box. It says he was a SmackDown championship. The Uso successfully defended their SmackDown championship, but unfortunately... We only get one in the set, which I don't get it. I don't get it at SummerSlam. So I imagine the other SummerSlam set has the Jimmy Uso to the J, or the J to the Jimmy to the Jimmy to the J. And this is just kind of what we're getting because I didn't pre order that set. Sorry, everyone, for that. But this guy is loaded with accessories as Mattel has been doing, left and right, with these figure dolls, you know? So here he is, Jay Uso's brother, with a really great head sculpt. I will say that they're kind of doing the best work they've ever done with these heads, in my opinion, and the fact that we got, like, this mini Bloodline 3 set and Elites is really fun. That hair's great. Although I don't think it's, <laughs> I don't think real hair ever looks like that, unfortunately. So I think it looks more like this. So I think <laughs> they kind of just like gave up on the back and just made it a straight line. Um, but it does still look cool. And I don't know if, how many of you are going to be posing him in your display like this. Probably none. Uh, he has his, his tattoos accurately represented on this figure. Uh, and then on the other side, it's an arm sleeve. He's wearing shorts, jeans, j j jorts. He's wearing none of those. He's actually wearing pants. And these are fun looking pants because it says B-L-D-I-N-E, which stands for bald in -E, in -E? Bald in -E? No, he's not bald, isn't he? Uh, and there is a little bit of red paint to reflect the red that is in his hair. Some lines, and overall, I think this is a great vision of Jimmy Uso. Sure, it's going to be a great figure that a lot of people will want to be adding to their collection in the future. Uh, Accessory-wise, he comes with a set of lays, I think, lay, so he can wear it. And he also comes with his J. Jimmy Uso hat, which does he wear it backwards or wear it frontwards, but it says Uso. And Uso's crazy. Remember when they used to come out and do that dance? Uh, so he, it's way too oversized, and it looks pretty dumb. Uh, I think you'd have a better job of putting it not on the figure. I don't think it looks good. Just like my camera not focusing doesn't look good. I don't think it looks good with the hat. I think that that's the worst part of the figure, honestly. Um, so let's just take it off and, and pretend that never happened. He also comes with a SmackDown Championship title, which is a little flimsy. It's not shiny, I don't think. I think that this is just the plastic with a little paint that makes it look a little shiny, which I'm not totally complaining about um, because I'm not always the biggest fan of the shiny stuff. and. Sometimes this makes it work. So this is where they cut some of the budget out of this figure is by doing that. And he also comes with uh, two hands, one fist, and one open. So overall, this is a Jimmy Uso figure. If you needed a Jimmy Uso figure to go with your Jay Uso figure from the SummerSlam set, I think that this is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to buy this one too, so you get the whole set of Usos. It's weird they separated it. And it's a little frustrating and sad that they did that to us because we should have the whole Usos together. But unfortunately, we don't. That's the society we live in today. That's the world we live in today. And unfortunately, things don't always have a happy ending. And just like this figure being great, except for that hat, it's not a happy ending. It's a sad ending. It's This is the saddest part of the set, the whole set. They really... They ru really ruined us, and for that, I want to apologize, because um, it's really sad, and I'm about to cry. 